let's introduce uh, microtypography rules and the way how to solve microtypography issues in LaTeX. We especially take a look at typesetting space and punctuation in LaTeX. Um, regarding typography and typography uh, typesetting rules and recommendations, uh, there are uh, there is one concern about layout the layout of the page. Uh, layout of the page is taken care of by the LaTeX itself and by the document class. So we need to involve much into this. By layouting page, we need uh, the look of the chapters, uh, the margins, the headers and footers, and also laying out. Uh, each paragraph and each line. Uh, what is not taken care of and what we need to take care of manually is microtypography, like uh, writing spaces, uh, hyphens and dashes, uh, special characters like quotation marks, parentheses, writing numbers, units of measurement, etc. So how to do it in LaTeX? Well, one quite big issue is uh, writing the horizontal lines like hyphens and dashes. Uh, there's a bunch of rules uh, for this and we uh, do not focus on them now. We just need to know how to do it in LaTeX. So when you hit uh, the minus sign on your, on your keyboard, uh, what you get is hyphen. Uh, hyphen is the shortest horizontal line used uh, mostly for hyphenation or compound words. Using hyphen there is all right. And note that there is no space around correctly use hyphen. Um, in many cases, uh, hyphen isn't what we need. Uh, like here, such a software engineering is a part of sentence inserted into another sentence. So what we need there is punctuation. Uh, imagine it like instead of comma. So for punctuation, we need dash, not hyphen. In LaTeX, if you uh, hit uh, minus sign two times, uh, you get uh, so-called n dash. Uh, note that n dash is definitely longer and of different look than, um, uh, than hyphen, like here. Um, well, uh, we shouldn't stop with n dash because there is also m dash. It's done when we hit minus sign three times. And in English, we usually don't put any space about around m dash, uh, unlike n dash. So uh, the longest one is m dash, it looks like this. Other use of n dash is with ranges, where we say three to five requirements, we can replace, or we should replace this hyphen with m dash. Note that in this context, three to five, there is no space about m dash. We also don't use m dash, the longest one, it's wrong in this context. So here we can compare the, those three types of horizontal lines, hyphen, n dash, and m dash. Great, let's go on. Other type of punctuation is uh, parentheses. Uh, parentheses uh, have also some rules with uh, uh, space, so we shouldn't put space around parentheses in a random way. Uh, basically, inside parentheses there is no space, and outside of parentheses there should be space when there's un unless there's something that prevents space, like m dash. So it looks correctly this way. This way, perfect. Another issue with other special character is uh, quotation marks. Note that quotation marks look uh, or work similarly to parentheses. There should be opening and closing quotation marks and they should look different. So this is not the case, they look the same, so they are definitely incorrect. 
So how to distinguish them in LaTeX source? For opening quotation marks, we use double backtick. For closing quotation marks, we use uh, double apostrophe. Uh, LaTeX then renders it as, uh, oh, sorry, as opening quotation mark and closing quotation mark. So this is the correct look. And note that they are different and they should be. Well, uh, the next issue is with uh, numbers uh, and units of measurement. Uh, when we want to say uh, 1 million kilometers, uh, the 1 million and the kilometers should be on the same line. They should be divided. So in order to make something on the same line, we can use, uh, instead of uh, ordinary space, we can use non-breakable space. In LaTeX source, non-breakable space is made by this tiled character. So now uh, the million and the kilometers is no longer divided uh, between two lines and it's correct. Uh, another thing is how to write decimal numbers. In English, we use uh, the dot always. Uh, there's also issue with uh, delimiting uh, the thousands and millions, the group of groups of threes in the number. So uh, there's one convention which uses comma and it's completely all right. If you wish to stick with the SI convention by dividing uh, numbers with spaces. Note that the space here in the numbers shouldn't be ordinary interword space, but it should be uh, thin space. Uh, we can typeset thin space wherever we wish by backslash comma. So replace space with backslash comma and it renders thin space instead of normal space. Well, the last thing is the so-called ellipsis, the three dots in the end. Uh, these three dots are too narrow. Uh, we need to use the so-called typographic ellipsis. So we need to replace these three dots with the correct character. We can do it with the dots command in LaTeX. Uh, note the empty curly braces. They are, they are quite important there. So when we call the dots command, we get the dots replaced with typographical ellipses. So this was the slight uh, and brief introduction into microtypography and most importantly how to solve it in LaTeX.